All right, now we're going to talk about limit switches. These are the switches on old heaters. When you turn the old gas heater on, any heater for that, but the old gas heaters, when you turn those on, the flame comes on, the blower does not come on automatically. Your flame comes on for a while, after the unit gets hot enough, then the blower comes on. The reasoning behind that is you don't want if it's winter time and you call for heat all of a sudden, boom, the uh, fan comes on. You get a cold burst of air. So what you do is you turn it blowers on, I mean you turn the burners on, you let the burners warm the system up. Once it gets to a certain temperature, your blower comes on and you immediately have hot air. Let's look at how that works. <clears throat> and here we go. Inside of this thing, you have the dial. The dial on here and then you have two switch, sets of switches. A normally open set, a normally closed set. Looking at this, here is that dial I drew. And one set of switches is between here and here. One set is between here and here. Your normally closed is your limit. So you would come out of your transformer, go straight to your limit, leave the limit, then you go to your thermostat. Um, that way if this mechanism failed, you would shut off power your thermostat, it wouldn't allow anything to come on. Now, coming off of your low speed of your blower, you would come the fan to here, to your fan side, and then go to the other side of power. What that does is when this gets to a certain temperature, this closes and brings on your low speed. <clears throat> First, these three little squares I've drawn here, these are actually set pins. And you need to remember these set pins. The very first set pin you come to is going to be fan off. This is the fan off. Second set pin in the middle is the fan on. Third set pin is your limit switch. Now I'm going to make up these numbers for the sake of this little video. But let's say we set the very first one to 80 degrees. So we set that pin and they, these little dials here they have numbers on them. I said we set it to 80 degrees. We're going to set the next one to uh, 120, 115. So fan comes on when that heater reaches 115 degrees. So what happens is you have a bimetal behind here. That flame comes on, this thing actually starts to spin. If you look at it here, it starts spinning. And you hit that switch there. When it hits that switch, this first click, the fan on, your fan comes on. Now, it should stop heating up, so this should stop spinning. Um, if your fan does not come on, then it will continue to spin, and that's where we set our third pin. Now, I'm going to set this third pin at 150. So, units off, let's say it's winter time, somebody has the heater set for 70 degrees. This thing would be turned all the way, and there is a little knob right here, a little pointer actually, that points it tells you the temperature. So I'm going to make up some numbers here. Let's say this is 90. Well, it can't be 90. Say 60, um, 75. We had this set at 80, 90, 115, 150. So when this unit is off, obviously the heat is going to be at room temperature. So this would be turned all the way to 70 degrees. We call for heat. The burners come on. This starts to spin. Now, the first pin it's going to encounter is going to be a fan off. <clears throat> the fan off pin, but the fan's already off, so nothing's going to happen. So it continues to spin. When it gets to the fan on, which here is set at 115, it's going to turn, and then you're going to hear that first click. When it clicks, this closes. The fan should then start to come on. This should stop spinning because that bottom metal behind here should start to cool off and hold it right where it's at. If for whatever reason, Let's say that this doesn't close or your fan's bad, your capacitor could be bad. For whatever reason, we don't get it airflow. This would continue to spin, continue to spin until we encounter the fan off pin. Which at that, I mean not fan off your limit, which at that point, open up your limit switch, kill everything. Pretty simple device. It's just an old mechanical device. We just need to remember these pins in order. The first one, number one pin is your fan 
off two fan on three is your limit remember that your fan switch is normally open your limit switch is normally closed you can check this it's real simple kind of hard to do by yourself it's easy to check it while it's on but right now nothing's running no limit so between here and here should be open set the continuity double check open here to here closed so that is closed this is opened up and that's pretty much it